often I get asked about my tattoos and, and what they mean and why I've got them. And uh, my tattoos represent a life story. But I find it interesting when people don't have tattoos, they don't realize they actually do have tattoos. We've all got some kind of tattoo, whether it's got ink or not, it's a scar on our life that someone has written down something on our skin or said something about us. And we carry these things throughout our lives. And some of them, I think that we should try and erase from our lives and other things we should keep there because it's a reminder to ourselves, if, if not to the world, where we've come from, not to go back there, but at the same time to keep moving forward. But the question is always this, is how many times in life do we scar and tattoo other people with the labels that we put on them and the impacts that we have on their lives or the impressions that we give to the people around us. The words that we say lately have been coming to me a lot is where's be careful of what you say and even how you say it. I remember as a kid, my dad always used to say to me, it wasn't what you said, it's how you said it. How we say things have a big impact, but it's not just the how, it's definitely the what. Um, I've always been known to be somebody who's not a person who's got a filter perhaps, and I'll just say it the way it is. It hasn't always served me too well, and sometimes it has. Uh, but for the most part, it's just about being PC, not politically correct, but people correct. I don't want to live in an environment where we're politically correct and we can't tell the truth or the truth in love, but where we people correct and we look after people and we protect people in terms of, of who they are and, and what they believe as well. Just because they believe something different or they look something different to us, again, doesn't mean that it's wrong. It just means that it's different. So let's be more aware and conscious of the writings and the scars and the tattoos that we leave behind when we've left a conversation with somebody else.